Hello. <clears throat> Happy Wednesday. Here we are again. Good morning, Ellen. How are you? <clears throat> Hi, Anita. Hi, Jane. Good morning, Ellen. Oh, my friends. Good morning, Laura. How is everyone? <clears throat> Good morning. It's been a crazy week already, and it's only Wednesday. I'm aiming to try and take some days off this weekend, maybe. So I've been trying to get extra stuff done, which has been crazy. I'm sure you guys probably all feel like that. It'd be nice to have um, a couple days off from work, right? <clears throat> so what's new with everyone? I don't think there's much new here. I have been working on, have you seen my ads? I've been running some Facebook ads for my, I'm doing a little live a little tulip workshop and then I'm launching my um, um, art and bloom course again like in two or three weeks so it's been crazy doing all of that but but all good it's all good hi Michelle so today we're gonna paint I'm gonna paint and if you want to paint with me <clears throat> gosh um, let me see I have to turn this around I'm gonna do hellebores again because these are in my yard. I just took this photo yesterday, I think, maybe the day before, and it's so pretty. Um, have you seen the ads? Good, Kathy. Are they irritatingly too many times, or it's crazy doing all this stuff? Like, I'm, I go on, on uh, Facebook sometimes, and I see an ad, like, with me in it, like, a video thing, and I'm like, oh, my word. Like, I'm, like, horrified. <laughs> It's craziness to like see yourself in an ad like that and be like, oh my God, that looks terrible. So we all judge ourselves so much in life and, and in our art, right? You were looking for me, Karen, and here I am. <laughs> here I am on Instagram. Or I'm not on Facebook, am I? Am I on Instagram? I don't think this goes both places. Maybe when I post it later, it does. So I've been in my studio here getting ready. I'm doing something with my um, Inspiring Art Collective group tomorrow. So I was getting things ready for that. And um, another project that I'm working on for that with a friend to maybe do a fun, another fun thing. I had to get some papers to, to try something with. And she's coming by today to pick them up. So I was getting all that ready. And I have a painting that I did, a commission that I need to drop off and my real work's really busy. Oh, good, Allie. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Susan. Good, 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 good. I like getting feedback because, you know, I just, it's all very new to me. Okay. So I might play a little more with my pigment sticks today. Um, I got some out, some different colors out because this is kind of a different color palette. Um, something else I want to play more with is color exploration in the next year um, because um, I want to learn a lot more about color. Um, and so I want to, yeah, like go out of my comfort zone in the color area very much. <clears throat> so this, I'm trying to think where this is right here. So even this is off color for me. So oops. see how my paintbrush is like separating like that. I hate that. Oh, Allie, you like the pencil. That was so fun to do. I did that at the last minute. That truly is my very favorite pencil. Um, and someone bought it already, which always is like icing on the cake, even though I love it and I would happily keep it. Um, I'm happy when they go to new homes always happy with that. So anyway, I was saying I just tossed that brush to the side. I don't know if I can get it working better again or not, but sometimes when my brushes get old and they're like that, it just drives me crazy. So there's no point in using it. Just get rid of it. Good morning, Sheila. How are you? Good morning, Sarah. Are the girls there watching with you? Um... This does have a lot of really cool colors and I've been really wanting to experiment with pinks and browns. I keep saying that and then I never, my paintings never turn out pink or brown, but maybe today. It 
So I photographed this in my backyard. I bought these when I, I had never heard of hellebores before a couple of years ago. And then when I did, I went to a greenhouse right here by where I live and bought a few <coughs> and they're growing. Oh, the girls are still sleeping. How love, how lucky are they? Um, I bought the hellebores and they're just so pretty. They're growing very happily in my yard. I love being able to just go out and take pictures of things I want to paint rather than having to go find them. <clears throat> good morning, Martha. An old school pencil with a good eraser can't be beat. That's right. Martha's a friend of mine from school. That's cute. And now it cannot be beat. Martha, I want to go to Longwood Gardens. Hint, hint. Um... A friend in, in the collective had posted pictures. They have um, doing this in the wrong space. This should be about halfway through this. See, I got something weird going on here. Um, that Longwood Gardens has these blue. Yeah, the hellebores are so pretty. It's amazing. That, like, I always am amazed that I never even knew what they were. But it's because they bloom while it's still very, uh, still cold outside and try never to go outside when it's cold. <laughs> you tell Greta, thank you. I would love to do that. Oh, so she was saying that um, these flowers are in bloom. They're, I think, blue. I don't know. They're blue. I can't think of what they are. I can't remember if they're, um, gosh, my brain's not working yet this morning. It's just working on other things, I guess. <laughs> um, they're beautiful anyway. And I would love to go see them. Why am I having such trouble with this flower? I think I'm over <clears throat> thinking about it. I need to just block it in and move it later. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. So what's new with everybody? Anything new or fun going on? We're ready for Easter. I am. I think we're going to go to New Hope for Easter. We didn't get to go. La oh, Blue Poppies. That's exactly what it was, Ellen. Thank you. Ellen, you always come to my rescue. That's exactly what I, I want to go see the Blue Poppies. If I don't make it this year, I'll make it next year. Yeah, I aspire to a life where one day when I hear that, that they have beautiful flowers at Longwood Gardens, I can just like skip work and go go take photos could happen <clears throat> good morning Jane just putting in some darks Ben and Jenny are coming for the weekend oh isn't that wonderful <clears throat> that's so nice Love when family, like we appreciate it more now than ever to all be together because of this past year. It's so precious having time together. I don't know which of my kids I'll have with me on um, Easter. Any bits of times that I get to have them all together is great. Having, I call it all my chicks in the nest. It's my favorite thing when... I have all my chicks tucked in, and I know everyone's safe and sound. That's a mama thing that never goes away, I guess. I don't think I realized that when you become a parent that it never ends. Like, I always thought you raise your kids, and then and then they go off on their own, and you don't worry about them anymore, but that doesn't seem to be the way it works. <clears throat> but I read somewhere that, that, like, when you have a child, it's like a, a piece, you cut a piece of your heart a, from yourself and it walks around in the world independent of you and you have no control over it it's like that's so true uh, <clears throat> oh this is a little lighter green I do love these colors they're very um beautiful together maybe I need to go buy a few more hellebores some different color ones <clears throat> yeah, right, Mark.
Martha. <clears throat> so I'm drinking my coffee here, right here that I have every morning. It's from Fat Cow Coffee. And that's it's my um, friend Martha who's on here. It's her, her coffee company. They have amazing coffee. You can order it online. And if you live in Lancaster, Martha will bring it to you, which is so wonderful. <laughs> love when she stops to visit me. It's called Fat Cow. Is it Fat Cow Coffee Roasters, Martha? It's the best. Lenten roses because they bloom during Lent. Oh, Karen, that's, that makes complete sense, right? Yes, I love the Lenten roses. Let's make this little green in there, even though it's really not green. And I'm not going to hurry today. I decided I hurry all the time. <clears throat> I'm trying to slow down. So I'm going to take my time. <clears throat> oh, a little bit of red maybe in here. And that almost is yellow in there. Maybe Martha left when I was talking about the coffee. darker in there. <clears throat> I actually have a few of the colors here on my palette that I used yesterday for the pencil. I didn't clean it off because I thought it might work for, for this painting. A few of the premix colors. Oh, I like that blue in there. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to do a little more of that. Fat Cow Coffee Roasters. Thanks, Ellen. Yes, yeah, so if you if you want to try a wonderful coffee. So Martha and I went to high school together <clears throat> and her mom and junior high, her mom was my seventh grade English teacher. And now she lives at the same place where my mother-in-law lives at the retirement community. And they're friends. Sometimes Martha will tell me something that she heard from the mothers talking, which is so cute. <clears throat> Thanks, Martha. Okay. Color in there. And that's a little greenish. I love the mix of pink and green. Like these, a lot of these leaves look like they're pink and green. It looks really cool. I love this stage. The painting. I do too, Martha. That's one of the fun things about <clears throat> living where you grow up. Like, you know, so many people, like the layers of people, yeah, do overlap. Jane said, I had just come in from walking my dog, couldn't get reception. When I opened up the phone, I love what you were doing. I'm just, in a few minutes, you laid down the most beautiful. So, oh, thank you, Jane. Um, I think I <clears throat> overstayed my welcome in the transparent layer. So I'm going to pull a little bit of this out. So I always feel like art's a, a mix of learning all the skills and then forgetting about everything you learned and trusting your intuition. I think that's where the real magic is when you can get to that point where you... 
<clears throat> you know everything you need to know. <clears throat> and then when you're painting, you don't have to think about this, the stuff, the, the lessons and how things work. And you can just let your intuition lead you, guide you. Um, there's this leaf in there. Yes, Laura, right? Because it's hard to get out of your own head and kind of stop thinking all your thoughts. <clears throat> well, it's not kind of hard, it's super hard. My thoughts get very noisy more in the middle of the night than any other time. It is a metaphor for life, Martha, absolutely. Yeah, whenever I write my little blog post, it always comes back around, and I think that applies to life, too, not just art. All right, I love that. <clears throat> I need a couple more dark darks, I think, just so that I kind of have it mapped the way I want. That's when you're in the flow. That's right. A little more dark in here. Push that back. Now that might have got too dark, but that's okay. All right, enough of this layer. <clears throat> Any tips of painting loose? I struggle so much. I would say my biggest tip is use a big brush. Yep, <laughs> try painting with a larger brush or paint standing up. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, if my live schedule won't, when I would warm up, would there be a videotape to watch? Yes, I'll, I'll, it'll stay in that Facebook group then after it's over. Um, yeah, a large, see, like, look how big my, large my brush is. Even bigger. The bigger your brush, the less... Um, you have control over things and the less you overwork it. When you use a small brush, you tend to, like I do anyway, tend to get in and, and start working on little details and that's what makes a painting get tight. When a painting, when a, oh good, Patty, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Laura. Yep, I totally agree, big brushes. Um, okay, now what? Now... I need to close up my, I cleaned up my palette. I was, okay, now it's time for the pigment sticks. I was gonna play around with some new colors with my pigment sticks and maybe even mix them a little bit. Let me move my coffee. So I mixed up, I was just playing with one of these colors that I have a lot more pigment sticks than, than I usually use. I just use kind of a set amount of colors so I wanted to play with cutting off a piece and adding some oil to it. I did it with this this um, color right here, but I feel like that might be a little too cool. I could maybe do it in a shadow area. And where did I put uh -huh, my medium? I have no. Oh, here I have it here. I think. So let me clean. I'll do this with my palette knife. I think if I can find it. Oh, here it is. So I have this, too many things in my hands and too much on my palette. Let me put a little medium here on my, what do I have? A little walnut oil I'll put right here. A couple drops, let's see what this is like. I saw them, the RNF pigment, they have videos on their website and I saw them doing this with some of their colors. And I wanted to play with it. Kind of like using um, pigment too. Like I have my pigment from my friend um, Lauren Souder um, makes pigment. Oh, this would be pretty. I could play with a little bit of this too. Isn't that beautiful? That's pigment that that's ground down from a rock. So maybe I, that looks like a color that's in there. So maybe I'll play with that a little bit too. I also have these two other colors from Lauren. <clears throat> All right. Um, all right, let me put this back 
up and we'll put, do pigment sticks in that little bit. Good morning, Mary. How are you? Okay. <clears throat> Whoops. Got my brush in my video blue extra pale. That's not going to work with the dark colors I'm starting with here. <clears throat> So what's everybody having today? Coffee or tea? Love that question. Love my coffee. I do look forward to it in the morning. This is pigment stick that I'm putting on here that I um, just mixed up. Coffee with oat milk. That sounds really good. I should try that. It's probably healthier, right? I just use regular old half and half <clears throat> coffee. Mostly all coffee. Second mug of coffee. I ran up and filled up my, my uh, Yeti with the rest of my pot. Tea with oatmeal. Oh, having oatmeal. Yum. French press coffee alley. That's fancy. That's very fun. Coffee and biscotti. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Oh, I'm doing pigment sticks. My brain's not sticking where it needs to here today. Wow, coffee and biscotti sounds wonderful. Put a little bit of accent of this up in here. Aren't those colors amazing together? Did that color kind of, I'm gonna do a little pink. So I have to think of a painting. My, We finally finished our bathroom. We've been renovating our bathroom for months, months and months, and it's finally finished, except for, well, I have to get um, plantation shutters in the bathroom. I had ordered them months ago and they, when I ordered them, they said they wouldn't even be in until, um, I don't know what they said, maybe May, which feels like forever, but I need a painting for in there. So I've got to think of something fun, but the whole bathroom's black and white and gray. And I had done this cow that's behind me. Did you see the cow? Here, I'll show you my cow. But it's, I don't know. I love the cow, but I don't know if it matches the bathroom. But I, my friend that lives in New Hope, where I filmed my Art in Bloom course, I think he wants the cow in his house. Do you keep your pigment sticks in their plastic tubes to keep them fresh and soft? Jane, on a good day, yes. Plantation shutters, yes, I love plantation. Fat cow, Ethiopian with apricot donut. Where'd you get an apricot donut, Martha? I'm, what what am I having? Martha knows what kind I'm having, don't, don't you? What kind of coffee am I having? I'm finally on the second bag. <laughs> but I don't know what kind I have. I like them all. Um, yes, I'm, I'm excited that the bathroom's finished. I don't want to get too much detail in there yet. I could always go in and add this later. That's a fun color. This is olive yellow. I never use this. I'm drinking the Sumatra. Yes, that's what I'm having and I love it. All right. Should I do a little bit of my signature color that I love? I'll just do a little, a little hint of it here and there. Oh wait, it's a little dry. Maybe it'll peek out at the end, maybe it won't. Yeah, the nice thing too is with these pigment sticks, if you add a color in and in the end you don't like it, just cover it up. It doesn't have to stay. No commitments. It is the best way to start the day, Jane. I agree. Doing this is such a, a calm in, in, the, in my day. Like, it just... 
it is a beautiful way to start the day. So no pressure. No expected outcome. It's just it's sort of like meditating. Oh, what color pigment stick are my... Um, which one is my favorite? I have a few favorites, Patty. Like, I love this color. This uh, malachite green is gorgeous. And I usually use um, this. What is this? This is green pale. Oh, phthalo green pale, I think. I love that. It's like a, a fun splash of like a light color. There's little kisses of light on here that I'm going to have to pay attention to and try to capture. Um, I like the Provence. This is Provence blue. It's really pretty. So, oh, you were asking me if I keep them in the tubes. I try in the beginning, and then after a while, I get really bad at it. And then I actually got myself this container at the container store to keep them in. See them all in this container. To put the lid on but do you think I ever add the lids right next to the container but the lid never goes oh look at this other one that I got I don't know if I love it or hate it it's called turkey red I think we need to put a little turkey red in there yeah Ellen do you know fat cow coffee roasters yeah Ellen lives nearby she lives in um um <laughs> Ellen where do you live I forget what your neighborhood's called. Martha probably knows. Uh, why do I forget things like that? I could drive right to your house, but I couldn't tell you what your neighborhood's called. Um, so isn't that fun? Always at this stage, um, did Ellen say? Ellen said through Kim, looked it up online. <clears throat> oh, that's, oh, that Ellen. El so there's another Ellen on here too who lives near us. And, and yes, Ellen looked that up for me. Thank you. Yes, Ellen's in Virginia. Julie, what did Jane ask? I guess I could leave this color out, this pigment that I mixed up. Okay, so I have some fun, unusual colors that I have to um, mix. Need to mix, not have to mix. So, what do I think? Are my highlights light or dark? I'm so bad at this. I would say that my highlights are are cool. I meant not light or dark. I know exactly that answer. <laughs> I think I'm going to make my my light areas cool and my shadow areas warm. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think you could do either one. It would be fun to do a painting and flop that thought and just totally mix it up the opposite. They just get skin on top to scrape off. Yes, you can scrape it, wipe it with your paper towel, or you can cut it off with your exacto blade. See, I have it on there. I'm going to clean that off or I'll pick this up to do something on a clean piece of paper or something and I'll paint all over it. I hope I'm not the only one who does that. Get this out of the way. And get my brush cleaner out of the way. To mix some colors. I'll put this brush over here. I was mixing with that, then I'll forget to clean it. Move my coffee. I'll mix a little bit of this. Too. I just say I want to paint for left Cornell. I don't know what that means. Cornell, please. Um I need a little bit of that oil, walnut oil. I'll mix that up. I need to get white paint out. I 
And when you mix these pigments, they always get a lot darker than they look. But I love the texture, like it has a little grittiness to it. Let me get a little bit of white out. <clears throat> oh, I got this new color too. I want to paint for left corner. Titanium buff. It's, it's kind of a, like a very pale, pale pinkish yellow color. It was an impulse purchase when I was buying art supplies. Happens a lot to me. I think I could live without clothing and purses and shoes as long as I can buy more paint. And I cannot find white. Oh, here's some white. That's not very much white. It's white over here. There we go. There's a white. Let me see if I mix a little of that titanium buff in there again. Should clean my palette knife off. Pretty. Kind of doesn't look like that color though that I used. Maybe I need just a little bit more pigment in there. It's great for skies. Oh, I need to work on some more landscapes too. That sounds like fun. The ones that I was experimenting with doing layering, doing my transparent um, glazing on. And um, all right, I think I'm off task. I do this a lot. Like now I went down this road of wanting to see what colors I can make with that, but that's not what I should be doing right now. <clears throat> so I need to go a little more brown in here. That's really pretty. It just feels different because you can feel the, the little granules of the stone in it. Okay, what do I need? I need some lights. Need dark warm. Um, let me get out. Um, Julie uh, Burke told me about. Oh, this is Van Dyke brown. I like that too. So I've been experimenting more with browns too. I use Van Dyke brown. And Julie, where's the brown you told me about? That's what got me going down that avenue of trying browns because Julie was working with. Um, I really don't know where it went. I think I should get all the correct colors out. Raw umber. That's what Julie was telling me about. Let me get some of that out too. <clears throat> Ellen, I got the pigment powder from Lauren Souder. She's a friend of mine. She lives in Annapolis, I think. She's in my mastermind group. So she makes her own pigments and pigment sticks too, which are really cool. I haven't gotten the chance to get them because she sells out so quickly and I keep not quite being available to buy them when they go on sale. Um, they're really fun. And you can buy them um, from companies too. I have a few. Well, I can't reach them. They're too far away from me where I'm sitting, but... Rublev makes a few. Probably more than a few. Put a little of this in here. It's fun mixing the colors together to see what you get, too. Aren't they beautiful? All right, I need a sip of coffee. Um, that super dark area could be this, but I should add a little bit of blue, I think. Maybe in a little purple. Make it really, really dark. And then I need some greens and some light area colors. So I have Viridian out here. Vir Viridian, is that right? I've been trying different greens too. I think greens and browns are colors that I need to experiment with more. One thing is there's never end to that. How do you mix that middle bright pink? This? Is that what you're asking? 
I did that yesterday for the pencil. Um, and I loved it. That's why I kept it there. But uh, I actually can't remember. Um, I don't know. That, that Yeah, this one. I don't remember how I mixed that. I don't know. I probably could mix it again if I tried, but um, I want to make a green that's less saturated. Maybe I'll take this and put a little bit of red in it. A lot of the greens in there are not are not saturated. That's nice. Now I need some light colors. Use this. Yeah, get up close and personal with more greens. Yes, that's what I should do, Julie. Let's practice my greens with landscapes. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to add a little more of this. I think that's a good, good start. A lot of little piles. I don't know if I mixed enough, but <clears throat> I think I'll start with that and see what happens. Back up here. Yes, is it warm where you are, Julie, in Canada? Is it getting warmer there? Is that good? You can see okay. Get my coffee. Where's everybody tuning in from? My coffee right in front of me. I could knock it over, just be warned. I feel like I have to get up and move, knock it over. Michigan. I've never been. There's so many places that I've never been. Oh, I am going to do <clears throat> um, an in-person workshop, if all goes well, in um, Connecticut. I think October, like third week in October. It's It'll be during the week, the work week. Um, and it's at a beautiful bed and breakfast. I'm super excited about it. Um, so if, <clears throat> if you want to be in the know when that goes on sale, which I think is going to be pretty soon, um, if you're on my email, I think I'm going to let everyone on my email know about it first before I let the general public hear about it in case any of my friends want to come. It's going to be fun. <clears throat> Ontario, oh, New, New Tripoli, PA, Laura. And you said, Laura, you live near Kutztown, right? I forget, did you go to Kutztown, Laura? <clears throat> That's where I went to college. I think that's where <clears throat> we used to drive through there a lot on our way to New Jersey. My husband's from New Jersey, Ontario, Canada. <coughs> Snow is gone and lake ice almost melted. Oh, good. I ran, Tay ran. Wow, that's exciting. Beautiful day in Ireland. Oh, how fun is that? Yeah, I think we're going to have a pretty nice weekend, but um, not so beautiful today or tomorrow here. Yeah, I would love to paint in Ireland, too. Wouldn't that be fun? No, I was supposed to do a workshop in <coughs> last year before COVID started I, with Julie Burke. I was going to go to Julie's house and do a workshop, and I was also going to go to... Italy and do a workshop and and to Connecticut so the Connecticut one's going to happen now as long as all goes well um I better get moving it's 8 40 already I'm re so relaxed I'm not thinking about the time <clears throat> oh Russia Republic of T T Tatarstan yeah I want to come too <laughs> Let me come to Ireland. It's been flooding here. A tornado last week. Wow. One of these days, yes. <clears throat> 25 minutes northeast Lehigh Valley. 
Oh, right. Yeah, we did the same school. How fun. Oh, Sussex County. Yeah, my husband's from Bud Lake, New Jersey. But he's lived here for a really, really, really long time. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm ready to get out and live life again. I hope it starts to happen. I was reading this morning, the New York Times had an article that there are more COVID cases coming, but because more people are vaccinated, yes, it's on my bucket, yes. We have to do these fun things. Um, because more people are vaccinated, it's not going to be as, as bad. But I almost was able to get a vaccine uh, my friend Sarah told me there were some available nearby, and I went on the website, but the only time I could do it, I have my um, Inspiring Art Collective activity, and I didn't want to cancel that. So the next round, I'm sure time will come. Hello to India. Hi, Joy, you found me. Joy was saying she was having trouble finding me on Instagram when I was live. Joy's the one who was telling me about the new brushes to try. Joy, you live in... Do you live in France? Is that where you live? We could do a workshop there too. Joy would have us all over for a workshop, I bet. That's a shadow right in here. I'm thinking about what areas I need to pay attention to. Um, I think that's pretty good. I think I need color in here. Now I just kind of dance around and find things that that need uh, some color. That's a, kind of a medium. that green that color I put in there this is crazy this green but if I mix it it might might actually look nice um, I need to think about what I'm doing here I'm not gonna finish in time Now it's like a tug, a push, a pull. Um, I always think of it as like, um, yeah, pushing and pulling things, like pushing things forward, pulling things forward, pushing things back, um, thinking about what colors look like next to each other. Finding light and dark areas. <clears throat> Oklahoma, I wanted to ask, do you use a different brush for each color? Nope, just this, just this brush. And I'm cleaning it with a paper towel in between colors. So yeah, this is the only brush I've used since I started. Every now and then I'll do a smaller brush. I could maybe here as I get into like um, <clears throat> toward the end, like a little details, I might use a different brush. If I feel like frustrated, like I can't get in there to do what I want, I'll get a, a different brush. But generally I use the same brush for the whole painting. lights in there. Um, <clears throat> I'm almost ready to go in and put some highlights in here. Sip up my coffee. 
sips of coffee provide time to think about it a little bit. This is staying down here pretty well. Oh, this is a darker area right in here. <clears throat> Oh, Rosemary. Yeah, this is this is my favorite brush. It's a number 12 Rosemary Eclipse Short Flat. <clears throat> yeah, I love little pops of blue showing through. It is always fun. I've turned into one of my favorite. Yes, Julie. Well, let me know if you have other favorite brushes. I'd love to try them because if we all have like similar favorites, um, it's fun to try other ones. Like I'm always looking for larger brushes and joy told me about the red what are they called red something red sable i have it over there i haven't tried it yet because i didn't paint large yet i need to go dark in here All right, maybe I'll go in with some lights now. Oh, the red dot. Yes, Joy, that I did get a red dot, which is very similar. Here, I'll show you since we're talking about brushes. I think my red dot's right here. Put this behind me. <clears throat> Let me pull it out of the bag. It's, it's a little larger. This is a red dot. It's Rosemary and Company. And then this is the one I use. So it's it's a little bigger. It's not tons bigger, but then I got this one to try. This is Ivory Sable Flat. It's on the bag. No, whoops. Let me compare it with this. That's larger because I'm when I paint large, I want to do the same thing that I do with my small paintings, but I just can't quite find a brush that allows me to do that. <clears throat> because my brushes for my large paintings are so different and the feel of it, like I just, I want it to feel just like this. I want to have the same control, be able to make that same shape. So we'll see how those do. Tells. It's good I got an extra um, roll of them before I started. <clears throat> yes, Julie, it, it looks similar. I haven't tried painting with it yet, but it looks very similar to the Eclipse. So this is a color that I mixed with the pigment. I'm trying to let a little bit, I have gold underneath there that I put on with the pigment sticks. I wanna let that kind of shine through. Good morning, Nancy. Forty-nine. I'm still doing okay. I'm gonna blend this a little bit, so I'm just gonna take my brush over it, just gently like that. This looks too, um, let me put it, 
push that a little bit. That looked too loudly dark, for lack of a better term. <laughs> it's not a phrase, is it? Loudly dark. Push this back a little in here. I do love all the colors. They're fun. Um, <clears throat> let me have a sip of my coffee. I think this green down here is a little too dominant. Let me soften that a little bit. And now it might be time to start thinking about the um, fun little extra colors. <laughs> loudly dark it does uh, yep that's what it definitely was I don't know what that would be for real if I had to really when I I've been pu pushing myself to write more like when I need to make blog posts and I am so uncomfortable with my writing <clears throat> because I always know what I want to say but I never quite have the right words for it like loudly dark that's really not a thing but I guess other artists sometimes will understand my my strange language right <clears throat> it's that kindred spirit of artists like I think sometimes I say things and no one in their right mind would ever understand me but yet other artists do they're like oh yeah that makes complete sense to me my husband looks at me like I have three heads <laughs> Okay, I have to do some of my little brights before this kicks me off. <clears throat> Thanks, Julie. <laughs> And I don't have tape around it today. I'm just letting that edge do what it wants, which is a little reckless for me. But so many people love the edges like that. And I, I can't say that I don't. It's just I feel like I have to control a little bit more because I have to think about um, what's going on in the edge of the painting. But, but I do like it. All right, so let's do some details. I still have a few minutes left. They really are beautiful, these hellebores. Oh, I need to do a little light in there, I think. <clears throat> a little, where was I going with light? Brownie pinks, yes, I love the brownie pinks. Oh, right here, this is what I wanted to do this. Right there. And right there. Yeah, so now I'm experimenting. I have my um, framer um, framing a couple of these paintings for me that are on paper um, with and without glass. And then I'm going to try mounting some onto something too. Yeah, I love the Ellen. I love the reveal too. No reveal today. I know it's almost like I feel disappointed not to do that. Isn't that crazy? I love the reveal. 
there's something so satisfying about it. It's funny how art does that, like makes you feel a certain way. It's like how a pen feels in your hand, how your paintbrush feels in your hand. It's like all the feels of of what just, it just feels, it just feels right. Like that's a whole thing of creating art or creating anything is when something just feels right. Although I've been experimenting, I have, um, <clears throat> I'm doing a thing with, you probably noticed with um, water soluble, um, I'm thinking about a color in here, <clears throat> with water soluble oil paints. Um, Windsor Newton sent me a bunch to, to try and I'm enjoying it, but it's hard because it's so different to paint with them compared to how it, they just feel different. They kind of feel a little pastier somehow, or, you know, it's learning something new, but it's being comfortable with that being uncomfortable. It's always good for art <clears throat> to do that, but it's not always easy, I guess. You see any areas that I'm missing? Do you feel like, I feel like something's, this petal's a little, I don't know if it's this edge. It needs something. I think this needs an edge. I think this needs... I'm kind of looking for like sharp edges that I needed to pay attention to. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Gail. Yeah, I was afraid it was too busy to paint in an hour, but it, but it's turning out fine. See any other edges, any light things? I think this needs a little division. They would make pretty sheets, wouldn't they? kind of a fun that it looks kind of like a minty green I love that color I should do a little dark here though I think I might be finished yeah the colors were fun I think I need a little spot of pink here whoops I ran out of paper towels right at the right time oops 59 I better finish up okay so, there's a painting and my palette, and it's probably going to cut me off. So, thanks for coming and hanging out with me, guys. It was fun as always. I enjoy my Wednesday mornings, um, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend if you're having one. And thanks, Martha. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks, Allie. Thanks, Mary. See you soon. Goodbye.